In this video, we will showcase the redesigned Fuzzy Logic Designer app that lets you graphically design and simulate fuzzy inference systems. Let's use the example of a tipping problem to showcase capabilities of the app. Goal of this fuzzy inference system is to estimate the tip percentage for a waiter based on the quality of food and service. For context, the average tip percentage in the US is 15%. Let us open the Fuzzy Logic Designer app. The start page provides standard template for the inference systems to quickly get started with the design and additionally provides the capability to create custom fuzzy inference systems. You can also load previously created fuzzy inference systems either from file or your workspace. To solve the tipping problem, which takes the inputs, food and service to provide singular output, which is the tip. We can either create a fuzzy inference system from scratch or leverage one of the provided templates. For this example, we will use the Mamdani type 1 template to get started. The template creates a standard fuzzy system as seen in the fuzzy inference plot and loads a default set of membership functions. Let us name the inputs and the output. Now that we have the structure decided, the next steps are to define the membership functions and the rules. To define or add membership functions to inputs and outputs, you can click on the corresponding entry in the system browser and make the required changes in the property editor. For this example, for the first input, which is service, we shall use three Gaussian membership functions to model poor, good and excellent service and enter the corresponding values for the parameters. These parameters can also be modified graphically using the membership function plot. We will repeat similar steps for the other input, food and output tip. The next step is to map the inputs to output using rules. To do this, right click on rules in the system browser and click on show rule editor. You can use the rule editor to add, copy or delete rules and manage all rules of your system and then use the property editor tab associated with it to make changes to individual rules. The rule editor also provides the option to automatically populate all possible rules by including all combination of inputs and its membership functions. For this example, we would like to create three simple rules to design the logic. Let us implement the rules. The first rule is if service is poor or food is rancid, then the tip is cheap. Second, if service is good, the tip is average. In this case, the second input food has no implications here. So we can enter that as none. And the last rule, if service is excellent or food is delicious, the tip is generous. We can now go ahead and simulate our system. To do so, you can use the rule inference and control surface to evaluate your design. Click on rule inference to open the rule viewer. Here you can make changes to your inputs by using a slider to model different scenarios and evaluate how your fuzzy system respond. Let us model a couple of scenarios. First, with service being bad and food being rancid, we see that the tip amount is low. Now let us change the quality of food to high and quality of service to average. We see that the tip is generous. This shows that our fuzzy system is performing as expected. The control surface, on the other hand, shows the overall mapping between the inputs, food and service to the output tip. Using the control surface, we can infer that the tip amount is generous when food and service are great. Tip is low when they are bad and flat area in the middle shows average tip at about 15%. This shows that the mapping is accurate. Moving on to the last part of this workflow, we can export our designed fuzzy inference system to MATLAB workspace using the export option. The saved fuzzy inference system object can then be used either in Simulink model for integration or for direct deployment to an embedded system. This concludes our video. Make sure to check out the resources and thank you so much for watching.